Hey, hey. What do you say? Today is day. 3824. 3824. We did a little, uh, little housekeeping today. Yeah. Housekeeper was on staff. So everybody got their, uh, well, I don't think that's going to hold such a, such a fine feathered friend as you, Falco. Well, that's not what that's for. There, that's, that's not what that was designed to do. Too bad, says Falco. This is what it's going to do. And Jack has become quite the friendly little critter. Hey, Jack, what's up? Jack, Jack's a cool chick, aren't you? Yeah. Well, Jackie, 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 and here comes Faddle. So when I was uh, when I was cleaning out their enclosures today, well, you are now you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall. Um, when I was cleaning out their enclosures today, I had like their stuff set up right here, just like a temporary little deal, and Faddle. Miss Faddle back there was insistent on sitting on the edge of it. And it made me a little nervous because of uh, Red Light Roxanne. She was in here with me. But uh, she did fine. She did very well. Falco, you are going to, you're going to bite it. It's just going to happen. Yep. Why don't, yeah, go, there you go. There you go. Everyone's so much better now. All right. But um, she was absolutely obsessed with getting up on the edge of the, uh, of the little temporary enclosure I had made for her, which wasn't a problem because, you know, I had made it sturdy enough to handle that. But um, I was concerned that Roxanne was going to want to, you know, attack said chickens, but she didn't. She was really good. I was very proud of her. Now listen, you guys, now, now we're starting trends. Now we're being trendsetters. Yeah, Fiddle, this isn't going to hold you, bud. It's not going to happen. Fiddle is... Uh, I just don't know. I Sometimes I think friendly, and then I'm like, okay, that's a little... That's a little... A little aggressive. <laughs> so, the jury's still out as to whether Fiddle is going to be... Uh, going to be keepable or not, because... I mean, you know, first of all... We might have too many roosters because of the other the other flock. I don't know. I'm not sure what you're trying to accomplish here, friend. I really, really, really am anxious to get them into their forever home, though, because they uh, they're just they they just really need more space. As you can see, they're elated when they have. Just a little bit more room, but uh, it, when you see <laughs> a little shaky, when you see the wing flap, you can see that underneath their wings they they don't have feathers yet, so they're they're going to need that before they can uh, before they can be in any kind of seriously inclement inclement weather. All right, bro, let's go check out the babies. Yeah, you've had your time. Ow! Listen, talons. Talons. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Here, you hang on there. I'll hang on here. And we will... There we go. Lift a giant chicken. Alright. There, the, there we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Rush, rush, rush. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And let's see how these folks are doing. Hello. Hello, fine friends. <clears throat> Trying to get nine chickens out of here is quite the feat. It's uh, it's quite entertaining, I'm sure. I should uh, I should tape it next time because uh, everybody would get a lot of joy out of it. So I'm not going to stick my hand in this one. <laughs> What's going on, Parabola? Because they they will run. They're scared of me. Well, maybe. What's up, mofo? What's up? Oh, well, I don't think there's any need to be biting. I don't think there's any need to bite. Wow, this is the first time this has ever happened. Whoa, okay. It'll be the last. Maybe not. 
Well, hi. We're back again. Well, hello. Goodness. Goodness. Calm down, friend. Calm down. Little mofo. I love a friendly chicken. It's my favorite kind of chicken. Here it comes. Look at that. <laughs> oh, goodness. On my finger. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Funny. Here you go. Here's your perch. Oh, okay. Well, let's do that then. I don't, is that is that or is that literally biting the hand that feeds? I think that's that's I think they wrote songs about that. Nine inch nails. Yeah. Don't you bite the hand that feeds you? Well, Felicity. Goodness. Making a name for herself. Yeah, it was funny. Again, when I was cleaning out their enclosures, I did these guys last. And I put them in there. And there was a, a, a breach in the defenses. And part of the bottom of the, uh, the temporary enclosure had started to come apart. And they all started flooding out. There was like three or four of them that just started like stepping right on out. And I was like, oh my god. So, I, I they... They're so silly because once they get out, they, they freak out and then, and then like panic looking for a way to get back in. So all I did was just open the door a little bit and they all just went like running back into the enclosure back where they had originally been fighting so hard to get out of. I was like, you guys, come on now. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to say it, but that's really not not real smart so it was uh it was kind of funny because when I first saw that they were streaming out like a little parade I was like oh my god I'm never going to be able to get these guys back in here because there's so many things that they can get under and uh so I was quite happy to see that they all just came right back in as soon as I uh as soon as I gave them access you gonna jump up here again mofo you big mofo I think so. Maybe not. So yeah, everything's great. Dale. Dale is a riot. What's up, Chip Chunk? Chunky Chip? Chippy Chunk? Chunky Chocolate Chip? The feathers. You look... <laughs> you look like you've been through a, a washing machine, friend. Parabolabola. I'm glad to see that Felicity is starting to get more friendly. But of course we have little Gwen back there. Ozzy Two Toes. The little babies are still a little skittish. I'm hoping that spending this much time with them will make them to where they're not always afraid. I know that, uh, you know, that's the nature of the chicken. And they really don't have a lot to defend themselves with. I mean, they've, they've got the beaks going on, but... They, they're talons, maybe, but, I mean, they're pretty defenseless, so I can see why they're so skittish. They're funny. Funny, funny critters. Again, never knew I needed them until here they are. I, I would love to hold your hand, Mofo. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. Oh, that was a chicken noise. Mm-hmm. Now listen. I don't think there's any need for y'all to gang up on me. <laughs> okay, everybody. I did make a little bit of progress on uh, Cluckersburg today. I'm going to say very little bit, like... Just enough progress to say that I made progress. It was very, very short-lived. I had a, had a thing I had to go do. Had to speak to a man about a mule. That's not true. There were no mules involved. Although I wouldn't mind having a mule. But, uh, yeah, they, uh... I, uh, was able to get some stuff moved around and, uh... Get some sweeping done. Like, maybe ten, ten sweeps before I had to go. So... 
more tomorrow. This week's supposed to be really nice weather, and I don't like to go down there when it's not nice weather because I don't like the cold. But I took a drive today. I saw tons of daffodils. I've been hearing spring peepers for a couple weeks now. So the spring is coming, and I cannot wait. I think time change is like, what, like a couple weeks away? Seasonal depression is real, and I'm not a fan. So... I was in the depths of my despair for my seasonal depression when these little guys arrived. They saved my life! Not really. Not really, but I have enjoyed them greatly, and I do believe my life is better because of them. So, there you have it. Alright, everybody. Until next time.